Hey guys, it's Tech Tip Tuesday again. Thanks for showing up. Today we're going to talk about airflow. When I was growing up, not only was I at the drag strip a lot, but my dad did air balance work in industrial buildings, hospitals, stuff like that. And what that means, he made the air systems flow uh, efficient so that they would cool and heat the building as they should, setting rooms to different pressures and such like that. So in that, he taught me a lot about air pressure and how you want stuff to flow to make it efficient, especially when you're doing just say intercooler piping, or if you're doing uh, fan shrouds and radiator stuff, you wanna make sure you're getting that whole coil or radiator uh, full of air and not just one half or the other. So today we're gonna to look at that. I also look at some intercooler piping and show you some tips on how to get airflow where you need it. Let's jack this thing up and get started. <laughs> All right guys, so what I'm gonna show you here is how I put this piece of ductwork in to help the air draw into the radiator. Now, if you imagine, this whole bottom section is sealed off on the bottom of the car with a panel. And then we have that opening here you saw in the front bumper and the balance that it had on it. So the air is coming through here into the radiator. Now, if you look at what I just did, if it's just straight through, it comes in and at best it'll hit half of the radiator because that's where the air is direct. It's gonna go past the path of least resistance. But, if you stick some curvature in here, like this, air will always stick to the sidewalls of whatever it's flowing through. So, the air will come through, and it's gonna hug this curvature. And what that does, you have air coming through, but then it gets dispersed. So it's getting dispersed directly into the radiator and then following the curvature. So now we can fill this whole radiator full of cool air in order to get the cooling system to work sufficiently, get the engine temps down so this car can do well on a racetrack. All right, guys, let's look at some intercooler piping. So this is a piece of intercooler uh, that I've welded together for a Pro Charger kit and a 67 Mustang we're doing. And what I want to show you is how there's a nice clean sweep. There's no sharp uh, turns in this, and that's important. Same mindset as a radiator. You want nice, smooth sweep so the air can file out and be efficient. I'll give you some numbers that kind of help you understand what I'm talking about. So everybody knows on intercooler piping, that we can get silicone couplers and they're very sharp 90s. So if you imagine this 90 degree here, the air is gonna travel through the pipe, but instead of following that nice clean sweep like this has, it's actually going deadhead against the wall. And what that does, that kills your flow from anywhere from 10 to 18% um, of the amount of flow going through there. So just say you have 100% flow and then you get to here, if it drops 10, you're down to 90% flow. Well, every time you put that angle in there, you kill the flow another 10 to 18%. Another perspective to, to look at that is if you're using a four inch pipe, most of us use two and a half, three, whatever, but if you're using a four inch pipe and you put a sharp angle in here like this, that's the same as adding anywhere from 10 to 15 feet of extra piping. So let's just say you got four feet of intercooler piping going charging your whole system on your car, but you have two elbows, well, we'll just say you extended that from four feet now to 24 feet of piping. So you can imagine the amount of lag that's gonna have because it takes more time to get through more piping. So every sharp angle you put in intercooler piping is just that much more lag. You're killing your efficiency, you're killing your flow. Um, just imagine you see a guy and he's got four of these elbows and he's killed his flow by 60%. So what the turbo is trying to cram in is not what's getting in the engine because it's getting backed up through the system. So these are some numbers you want to keep in mind when you're when you're making your system. Remember, you want nice, clean, even flow. The air is going to stick to that curvature and help it sweep through. When it can come around that corner, it's, it's uh, just, it gets more velocity coming around the corner. It's kind of like um, Ricky Bobby and Shake and Bake, you know, just it's going to slingshot around that corner and, and create more velocity and get through there. But when you have the sharp curves, you have uh, less efficiency and it's going to slow everything down. I hope this helps you guys, whether you're working on a radiator coolant system or you're working on your charge pipe from your turbo. I hope it helps you. Just keep in mind, sweeps are your friends. And until next week, keep learning and we'll see you then.